بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم اسٹوڈ ویلکم ان زیملس کیمسٹری کلاس ٹوڈے آئی ویڈ لائک ٹو انٹروڈیوس ان یو کیٹیگری ان آر چینل اینڈ دس اس چینل ان وچ وی ڈسکس ایچ اینڈ ایوری تھنگ وتھ فن اینڈ انجوائے دا کولڈ ویڈر دیٹ از گوئنگ آن ڈیورنگ دس جنوری اینڈ فیبری منتھس ان کراچی آئی تھنک یو نو دیٹ دس از اونلی فار سم ٹائم سو جسٹ ٹیک کیئر آف یور سیلف اینڈ ٹیک ا لاٹ آف covering during this lazy days okay so just uh, let's start so our new category is about presentation on enzymes this is the first topic but the main thing is that this is the presentation you should know that what is the pattern of presentation and how you can represent this topic and this is our first topic inshallah with time to time i will discuss or i will share some new topic with you people Uh, for your practice as well as uh, to understand or develop the right way to construct or build uh, a presentation so just let's start first of all i would like to discuss the definition of enzymes what are enzymes enzymes is actually a biological term which means a biological catalyst first of all what do you mean by bio you know that bio is regarding with the life bio is concerned with the life when we talk about the living beings or the life then these all scenario will be covered in bio so this is actually the biological term so what do you mean by catalyst catalyst are those species that can speed up the reaction without reacting any of the reactant for example if the reaction is Uh, taking place at very low speed and we want to observe the changes within short time then what we can do we can add some materials that can speed up the reaction so these things are very important and we will discuss them in chemistry too but now i am actually say, uh, telling you that how to represent to represent the topic so that's why i am just telling you first of all if any topic is given to you what you have to do first of all just define the topic so these are the slides if you have a topic of enzyme you can prepare these slides for yourself to represent the topic enzymes so enzymes are actually biological catalyst catalyst are those species that can speed up the reaction and they are almost protein more actually they more consist of proteins so we can say that they are actually always a protein it speeds up the rate of a specific chemical reaction in the cell the enzyme is not destroyed during the reaction and is used over and over so it's mean that we can take help from the catalyst to speed up any of the reaction you know that many of the reactions are also taking place in our body we are also having chemicals in our body so these kind of uh, chemicals will behave uh, similar as they behave in the laboratories and as well as in our surrounding you know that when we only discuss the reaction in the uh, chemist chemistry but the main thing is that when we talk about the reactions that are taking place in our bodies that it's mean that we are relating the reactions with life so it will be known as biological reactions and if we talk about the uh, materials that can speed up the reaction that uh, it means that we are talking about the biological enzymes so this is the definition of uh, enzymes you can see in the picture that the shape of the enzyme how okay so students this is the meaning of enzyme if you want to write about enzymes more you can also write the meaning of the enzyme what is the meaning of enzyme you can also add this question so now in the picture you can see that there is a picture of an enzyme and its active site so in the next slide i will uh, tell you about what is an active site and how it works so now in this picture mechanism of enzyme activity you can see and you can observe how enzyme is uh, reacting and how it can work to speed up the reaction first of all see there is a picture of enzyme and enzyme is actually like the lock a lock means you know that when we enter the key and each lock has a specific key just like that each enzyme will have a specific substrate what is a substrate substrate is the species 
that is actually involving in the reaction and we want to speed up the reaction so what will happen we will enter the substrate into the enzyme and each sub, uh, substrate will be specific for each enzyme so you can see that uh, the shape of the enzyme is actually according to the shape of the substrate when substrate is incoming then substrate will attach to the site the site on which or the surface on which a substrate is attached to an enzyme is known as an active site okay when substrate is attached to the active site of an enzyme then what will happen enzyme substrate complex will form why this is known as complex because now two of the species are attached together so now the uh, system is become complex so after some time what will happen uh, when the substrate enters into the enzyme and form enzyme substrate complex substrate will separate to form products more quickly as soon as possible and this is the main activity of an enzyme to speed up the reaction so when a substrate attached to the enzyme uh, an, an enzyme substrate complex will form and the surface where uh, and the surface or the area of an enzyme where a substrate attached to the enzyme is known as an active site and after some time products will form okay so now just move towards the uses of enzymes industrial and commercial use of enzymes as you can see that i am not discussing the details because presentation means just to give the idea of the or the concept or you can say that summary about a topic so you can observe this we only discuss some important points regarding the topic but not go towards the details so there is a difference between the explanation and the presentation presentation means you just giving an idea about the term and you just want to show the uh, important points of the topic so there is a difference now let's move towards industrial and commercial uses of enzymes enzymes are actually uh, not only uh, for the uh, body but uh, it is also a term that represents a life process and you know that sometimes we do some reactions in the laboratory to just uh, observe the nature of the bacteria and viruses you know that enzymes uh, enzymes are very important term because they these are the species that can speed up the reaction so we can use them for different purposes for example for food industry beverage industry detergent industry dental industry and paper industry we can use them commercially why because these are very important uh, we need you know that on the level of industry we do many of the reactions that are very important for making or for manufacturing or uh, in the synthesis of many important materials so uh, these are very important so just see how they help in these industries okay so first of all i would like to talk upon food industry in food industry enzymes are used to process carbohydrates protein and fats you know that uh, we use many of the carbohydrates proteins and fats in our daily life these enzymes include analysis lactase cellulose and lipase in beverage industry enzymes are used to increase juice yield and decrease energy consumption in bi uh, pectinase which is used in fruit juice manufacture to break pectins and makes juice less viscous cellulose and hemicellulose are used to break plant wall for efficient liquefaction in detergent industry enzymes such as proteases lipases analysis and cellulose are added to some detergents to break or remove the dirt and stains from the cloth fibers in leather industry enzymes are used uh, during soaking the herring drying of leather proteases can be used to remove hair from hides these hides are then treated with pancreatic enzymes to increase the softness of leather in paper industry amylase xylenase cellulose lacase lipase and lignase are important enzymes that can be used in pulp and paper industry they are used to lower viscosity coating paper remove color smooth fibers enhance water drainage etc of paper so see how 
uh, all the enzymes are very important for many of the processes that are actually uh, going on in an industry. Enzymes present in the yeast are commercially used for the fermentation of molasses and starch to produce alcohol. You know that alcohol is a byproduct in the fermentation and it is actually the main product and it is based on ethanol. And you know that what is the structure of ethanol? In ethanol we have two carbons and one OH group. All is uh, written here to show the uh, hydroxyl group attachment. These enzymes are actually diastase, invertase and zymes. Microbiology enzymes are used in detergents, powder of liquid lipase to compose pads into more water soluble compounds. Enzymes can also be used for the purification of fruit juices. They are added to fruit that has been crushed like grapes. This increases the yield extracted by removing suspended particles. It also improves the color dry from the fruit skins. MRI's enzymes are used in bread making because they can yield more starch of the floor. Lactase enzyme is used to increase sweetness in ice cream as lactose in milk is broken down to lactose and glucose which are sweeter than lactose. So lactase is very important during the increase of sweetness in ice cream. In the dairy industry, some enzymes are used for the production of cheeses, yogurt and other dairy products while others are used to improve texture or flavors of the products. Here are the references and for this video I would like to uh, thank my one of the student and uh, this is uh, made by my uh, one of the student for the presentation of uh, uh, to represent uh, its topic in the university. So I hope you are enjoyed a lot and you, ha uh, you have gained the knowledge about how to represent a presentation because there is a, a little difference between the explanation and presentation. So uh, this is the way to represent any of the topic. Inshallah in coming videos I will like to share uh, some other topics that will be very important for you. But till then Allah Hafiz and thank you for your participation. Allah Hafiz.